10 bedroom. Why do I reinforce this? Because I like to be able to play here and fight here and fight here without getting wall banked. And I like to be able to fight white. But again, it's preference. I know if I play smoke, I'm fighting this. I'm fighting here. I'm fighting here. And I know I can see bottom white from here. What's going on YouTube? My name is Braction. I am a Rainbow Six Siege coach and an ex semi professional player. In today's video, I hope I teach you what you are looking for. I truly hope you get better. And if you guys have a time, I stream every single day on Twitch and I even have my own charm in the game that you can wear and represent. Enjoy the video and thanks for watching. A lot of you guys were asking me yesterday on stream, how do I get in the building more consistently while avoiding death? You want to know the safest way to always enter, this is how. When you go to play any single map and you go to attack any single site, you're always going to figure out how many ways could I die if I go through this door. All right, that's tip number one. So if I go through this garage door, R1, R2, R3, R4, right? It's four angles, door, five. If you want to get specific behind any motorcycle, someone could be hiding, but I'm not going to do that, right? So one, two, three, four. Behind the box, though, five. Harry Potter, six. Oil pit, seven. There is seven different ways I could die when entering this door, whether the side is upstairs or downstairs, CC, basement, or gym. There's seven different angles in this direction, and that's why attacking garage is pretty hard for most people, all right? So sometimes you have to be aware that you just don't go there. Now, some of you guys are gonna ask, but how come one site's cash and CC? So many people like to do garage takes. It is because in a garage take professionally, you guys have a capital, so you fire, fire, making this guy get up, and then you fight him when he's on fire. That's when you go garage. Or you fire, fire, and when he goes to run away, and the third might opens the wall, he now has to stand up and also die to the guy outside the thermite breach. But when you're attacking the basement, when you're attacking Jim, and there's nobody in this rafter or it's just rats, all those angles are really difficult because you're not going to have the pressure from a thermite. You're probably not going to have a capital to clear somebody here or a ying. You're not going to open the lower garage walls. You're just going through one door. So it's a lot of angles on one guy. Now, the next thing I want you to think about is Wherever I enter, where can I be the most efficient? All right, so let's say I am attacking cash CC. I like to always go through stock. Now, why do I like to go through stock? It's because there's so many limited angles. If I go through stock, there's either someone behind there, close left, or the door. Three compared to like the seven or eight in the other room, right? Yeah. So it's a big deal to know like, hey, like, hey, man, I'd much rather go this way. And I'd much rather buck the floor, throw grenades, uh, ash the floor for the bandit, break shields with Ash, Sophia, and then walk up red. I'd rather do that than walk up and fight the raptor area. And I'd rather go through here if the site's gym or if the site's basement because I open the hatch with Habana. And then maybe I rotate out this way, right? And then I go kitchen. Or maybe I open the hatch with Habana, right? Or I'm playing sledge. I open the hatch or I come through bar. And now I can fight this way. Or I like to stare and fight the blue staircase and see if any roamers are coming up. If I'm playing Habana, maybe I hard breached a wall. Now I open that hatch. I have this hatch open. I'm Habana. I'm safe. And now I have two hatches open and I can go chill outside and drone and attack the hatches. You're thinking about how many possible angles could be on you. But to be honest, my favorite place to enter on the entire map now that I think about it is actually strip. And I'll explain why. If the site's in the basement and you come through strip, there's only one way in and out of strip, and that is the hallway. If you hear a squeaky toy, that's my dog. I'm sorry, he's a baby. Anyway, so you're going to come through strip, right? And the good thing about strip is that you're going to have a cutoff camera. And this is how the game works. Let's say it's prep phase, right? Theodore, come here. I am going to cut that out. Teddy, come here, buddy. No more, papas. No more. Yeah, that's right. You're messing the YouTube video up, gang. Comment Teddy if you watch the whole thing. So look, you put a camera here. And what you're going to do is put it right underneath the pole. And you go, hey, can somebody watch this camera for me? If anyone crosses, let me know. If nobody crosses and you're attacking, you come through the wall, you come through one of the doors. And look, all of this for free. Then you get on your cam again. And you go to the next room. Check, check, check. Pool looks cool. I don't hear anything there. 
don't hear anything here, leave it, and I go again. And this is when you enter with my trick, which is the walk, the silent walk, walk, silent walk, walk. So if you've never seen that before, I made a video about movement in this game and it's, it blew up on YouTube. What you're going to do is walk normal, but walk. Normal, slow, normal, slow, normal, slow. And this is how you're going to listen to people maybe you're going to roam late, run back to site late, and instantly, as you're doing this, you'll get free kills on people running down, running up, getting hatches late. If site CC, you walk up the staircase and you go put pressure on construction. If site is in the basement, you can instantly walk down and put pressure onto the site, right? If site's uh, gym and bedroom, what you have the ability to do is also then, again, obviously put site pressure immediately onto anyone here. Putting early site pressure is really important, and I truly hope that you guys got better learning how to enter the building. And if you're still watching, I'm going to put y'all on. A lot of people who, are, if you are still watching, I made this angle. I put it on TikTok. I was the first person to put this on TikTok, and people stole it, and like, I've been doing it for three years. Okay, buddy. When you're on defense, you play a Rooney. And you DMR right there, and you can kill anybody at the garage door walking in. You can do this on multiple different sites, depending on when you think it's the best. And you can also do it from the downstairs window here. You just punch the window there. And right there is where the garage door is. So you shoot right there like this. And that's the garage door there. That way you guys know, like, hey, man. The, the, the one cool thing about this game is there's so many different ways to play it. It's so interesting. You can get so many kills. You can punch a hole across this wall with a Rooney, right? Put a bulletproof camera in garage. And attackers are like, what is this? And then all of a sudden you punch this and you shoot anyone in garage because you have holes going all the way across. It's so cool. Comment, Teddy, if you watched the whole video. Like, comment, subscribe. Thank you for watching. And I'll talk to you guys next time. Also, I'm streaming, yo. Come watch me stream. This shit's been lit. You just play coastline mode. Who, me? Yeah. Yeah. You got wall hacks as well. I don't know about it. I have wall hacks? Yeah, if you want, I can. You can ring me on Discord and I. Yeah, it's 100%. 100% he is. He, he, he's wall hacked in last game. The cheaters right here. Hopefully he doesn't know that like I can look over the fence. Oh he does. Idiot. How can you have walls and be that bad? Uh, make it make sense. That's why knowing the game will always make you better. Like that is insane, Simon. Like Fucking unreal. Oh, I just missed him. I just missed. Ah, I just missed another one tap. I don't know how they're going to rework back, uh, Blackbeard, Black.